Welcome back to more of the Outer Worlds. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, we've picked up a brand new gun. We don't have a ton of ammo for it. In fact, let's take a second and look at it. It uses, looks like it uses heavy ammo, right? And we do not have a lot of that. We have a lot of the light stuff. If we switch over to our brand new sniper rifle, that's pretty amazing too. It does have... heavy armor heavy ammo as well so that's going to be a thing we have to concern ourselves with moving forward the shotgun is a no-go we died i i'm sure i've cut it out of the video from yes yesterday there is no way to use that weapon without being up in people's face maybe we have a little bit of ammo right here no such luck Let's go around the back, see if we can snipe some folks. There will be, yep, I already see him on the... Are they in this building? They must be. We're trying to go this way. Flaw tutorial. Hold on. During your adventure, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Having been hit in the head one too many times, your mental faculties have been permanently affected. Mind attributes minus one, but we do get a perk point. So, mind attributes. That would have to be science and talking, which is like our strength, right? But I think the perk point might be worthwhile. We're going to take it. I want the XP bonus, or do I want... Okay, let's do this wisely. What did I say? Durability loss, applied science, science weapons we don't have yet. 5% damage per flaw. We could do more damage. Nietzsche's reward. Precision. That seems good. I think companion crit chance. Like, we're keeping Parvati around, right? Fast travel when encumbered. I, I think the crit chance here is the way to go. Oh, this one. And then maybe this. Although she does die fast. You know what? We're going to take this. Oh, there's... Are there levels of it? So we can get 50... Okay, apply it. No, no. Okay, so it's just that. Uh, so let's look at our character now as far as... Nope. Uh, like this. Like this. We did lose... We're not as intelligent anymore. Ah. <gasps> Okay. And we lost perception. Okay, so it's the attributes. I was thinking skills. We're still charming. So it all works out. It's fine. Alright, now... Okay, I do see... Let's switch over to... Excuse me. <laughs> uh, is that sending them running to us? Nope. Let's take a, our time. Low pressure suit. Okay, that seems better than what we have take it all and let's go like this 
Go to the armor. Yes. We are looking cooler and cooler as time goes on. The armor is pretty amazing. And I think we're going to be in a big fight here. Roddy, sure. stay there. Are we doing a good job? I can't tell. Nice. I keep forgetting... Oh, those blow up. I'm so sorry I sent you there. I keep forgetting to... Where are all the bodies? Take it. Um, I need heavy ammo. Thank you. There were definitely more guys here. Okay, here's one. I guess we got it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need more in the way of heavy... Oh, there we go. There's some. This is going to be a thing. Ammo management. All right. Let's go. I keep sneaking like we're any good at it. We're really not. Or may mag pick compass. Yes. Take it all. Oh, that's useful. Anything up here? Do we think we've got it? Where's the... Yeah, I see there's a ton of guys. Let's go over here. Are they in the building? I don't like this. It's barred. This is where we're trying to get to. We need the key. Okay, I'm getting some ammo. This is good. Fix the bar. Open the door. How did I miss you? Nice one. <laughs> I needed to slow down time. Provide don't go in there. Yep, do your thing. Come back here. such a bad shot. It's actually doing okay. We did it. We're, we're amazing, Parvati. Amazing. Get this ammo. Two more guys over here. We need a key. Is it gonna be on? It's gonna be on the last one, isn't it? Is that everybody? I think it might be. Oh, there's stuff over here. Let's take that. So what I was thinking, oh, oh, there's more stuff here. Take it. And some cartridges and some tuna. 
we can do this? I don't 100% Oh, hack 25 and code first aid key card. I think we got what we needed. The community center, a spacious choice property, history of emerald veiled exhibits, proud heritage of our settlement, centerpiece of this grand exhibit, it will be a taxidermized manta queen. Let's look around a little bit. Coming soon, manta queen. Is it? Oh, it's not there. Cannons can be found all over Emerald Vale. I think we fought a couple of those. Ooh. Is this all stuff we'll be fighting? Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. And some fish. Oh yeah, I was going to eat some food. Maybe when we get into our next fight. Yes, give me the heavy ammo. Bathroom. Do you guys have ammo? You do. Oh, these poor fools. Killed in, a, in the bathroom. I think I understand how this works. Oh, I, I can... Hold on. I think I can modify riot control armor, some cartridges, another shotgun. I wonder if... Is there a weight limit? 61 of 90 in the top left there. We just picked up some riot armor, which I imagine is amazing. Let's do this to compare. 9 and 9. The riot armor... Really? Only four? Whether you are quelling a civilian riot or just beating down a drug crazed vandal, Aramid Ballistics has you covered with their riot control armor. It weighs the same, it's worth more. If I put it on, it looks cool, but it's not as good as the armor. The pressure suit. Interesting. Um, what else we got? Oh, you know what? Maybe I should think about upgrading what Parvati has. It's actually... Better. She's got some, some modifications. So no, I, I still don't have anything that's better for her. Can I... Do anything? No, I think I need a workbench. I do like this gun though. We're pretty good at it. If I could only aim. Do I want to open that? What is this? Messages. Dr. Pickett. From Rosenberg. Keycard encoder. Yep, which we just used. Logic complaint. Your obsession with this mana queen is wasting of all of our budget. This letter is to update you your request for one adult manta queen as you may remember our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild we regret to inform you that the entire team has perished please expect an invoice from our office including the cost of their gravesite fees thank you for your patronage please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunt hunting expedition at a 10 percent discount There's still someone over there, but maybe they're in the room. Have we cleared this out? I think so. Let's take this. We never went this way. Let's check this out. There is a guy in here. Two guys. Okay, keep him quiet. Here we go. Hit him in the head. Off. 
I don't like having to use that many bullets. You don't even have anything! Wait, where's the other guy? Thank you. Anything else in here? We did kill two guys, right? That's weird. Where did his body go? This looks like the pantry. What are you? Right, what do you have for me? This? And a s antique saber? Hello. Spacer's jaw. And then we can go upstairs. Okay, cool. A necklace? All kinds of garbage. Alright, I do need to go back to that room. It's this is just a looting run, isn't it? I mean, that's okay. Some juice. All, all the light ammo I could ever want. Pickup Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 1. Can we increase our skills with that? What is that? This is just junk we can sell. The Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 1, a dense technical... Primer on Mechanical Engineering, published by Spacer's Choice. This volume describes the process of building a computing machine using electrodes and spectrum potatoes. An exceedingly old saber, not much use in combat, but it'll look grand on a wall somewhere. Is this, like... I feel like I want to read it and get better at engineering. Geothermal passcode... Oh, the gravesite fees from the people. I guess we never gave them to that guy. We have two keys now. This is where we came in. Stairs up. Oh, wait. Was there another door? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. And this is... right, okay. So, let's go back to the room. How do we get there? Oh, what is this? Water. All right, let's take a look at this vending machine. Hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items. We can sell our garbage. Oh, that's nice. Compass. So, okay, this is worth quite a bit, actually. We never want to sell any of those. Tech kit, increase your tech skills. Oh, that's kind of what I was thinking the other thing did. Oh, we'll have to take a look at that. Do we need all this food? 
I mean, it is weight, but we can definitely sell. Do we want to sell our, our hibernation suit? It's nostalgic. Work outfit, no way. We'll keep this because it's got an armor of nine. And maybe one of the things that gives us stealth. Let's keep the riot armor. And then all these sabers. Only worth six. It's interesting that the weapons are not not worth much at all. They're you know what? I should probably be breaking them down instead. Now that I think about it, I think maybe that's what we'll do. I didn't even see what I could buy. How about um some Adreno? How much are they worth? Fifty. No, oh, thank you. Only in an emergency. Alright, looks like it's clean in here. As in no marauders. Tech kit. I wonder if that's temporary. What's this? Stun baton. Experimental anthracillin. We got it. Is that everything? I think it is. Let's look at that tech kit thing. Here. Here. Oh, I guess we add it to our armor? And this we add to our... Okay, so we need a workbench. So we can add plus five to tech skills in our in our armor I think what we'll want to do is increase our stealth skills because our tech skills are just fine. Well, they're okay. Oh, Parvati gives us a bonus to our tech skills. That's nice. And our science background was really not a smart choice. I mean, it's cool for flavor, but uh, it only gave us one point in science. And there were there were some other things that were probably better. Permanent concussion. Yeah. Oh, our hacking skills down to 25 because of that thing. So we lost a lot <laughs> for that perk. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, competent. Long guns critical damage. So our journal, we need to turn in this to one of the two people. I think we'll probably give it to the guy we originally promised it to. Now we need to cross the road here to the cave where that guy hid his stuff. There are creatures. And Marauders. Oh, let's switch to our Sniper. Yep, good job. Oh, hello. No. <laughs> Come on, give me the right weapon. No. This is terrible. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Never using the sniper rifle again. Let's 
go loot the guy that's down here. Again, there were... Beasts. It was just the Marauders. Let's get in here. Oh, something got updated. Let's look at the journal. You found an entrance to the river cave mentioned in the collector's note. The book must lie somewhere where we're there in. Let's do one of these. Um, you know what I think I'll do? I'm a little nervous. The shotgun does use light ammo. So if we run out of heavy ammo, which is possible if we find a big enough enemy. We'll have something as a backup weapon. This feels like... Oh, I see that. I see that right there. Oh, we did it. Oh, this was just like his, his hangout. Right. I know. Waste of heavy ammo. Give me that, uh, whatever that is. Zero G. Oh, and thank goodness. <laughs> nice. And take it. Now this does go further. Oh, it just goes outside. Okay. Ooh. Maybe we'll go the other way. Come along, Parvati. No need to just kill the local wildlife. So I think once I get out here, okay, was there anything else? Was this like a, no, 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 no. <laughs> Transport wreckage. Is there anything here? Yeah, okay. So can I fast travel back to town? I think I can, right? Fast travel. Yes. Here's the barber shop. I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Is there a back door? It looks like no. Oh, Wish wait, we had maybe. Some better rations. At least you got your help. No. Like, he stands right there. How am I supposed to... Sneak? I don't get it. Alright, uh, first of all, this guy... You can get your medicine. Here you go, bud. 
Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Take it easy. Oh, wait. Am I wearing it's marauder just you. armor? Nearest killed me with fright. At least I know I ain't hallucinating. You need something? Here's that medicine. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Esther tells me you have a tendency towards hypochondria. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? You obviously need this. Sweet life-given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratch together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Um, you know what? We don't, I'm not going to shake him down for more money. I don't like doing that. Now, we did that. Oh, my reputation has changed. If enemies are hostile, what does that mean? Do I, is there a way to look at my reputation? Oh, wait, let's go ahead and spend our points. We need to get back up to... I almost want to put it all into guns. But... We're an okay hacker. 30 is good enough. But I really want to work on our science. Or our talking. After 50, you can specialize. Hmm. It's always a tough choice. Let's go into tech this time. We did get a perk. Bonus XP. Or was I going to do the weapon degradation or armor rating so we don't die? Is five worth it? Survivability? Still don't have a science weapon. We're going to go with this one. And we've completed a quest. <laughs> Our first one. I think maybe we just walk in? In that door? Like, does that... That seems wrong to me. No, that's the exit of town. We all... You know what? We're going to try it. We don't need the gun. Examine. Letter from Phyllis. Conrad, reception has shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset. Somebody has to pay his body price is this the guy that killed himself that the other lady paid for this is going to ruin us so i was thinking that we pawn off his teeth eugene had a full set of gold teeth heirlooms passed down it is so the lady at the cannery the foreman wants to sell off the gold teeth to pay for his fees you're processing his body right just dig around and pry them out we sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet use the bits to pay his body price you know nobody's the wiser what do you think don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. I'm not going to steal inside this guy's place. I think we have the information we need. So now we can go talk to... Oh, um... Now we need to talk to Conrad. We need to return to the vicar. Oh, I wonder... Do we have that book? I kind of wanted to take a look at it. Corporate service award. Yeah, some junk to sell. Inspect it. But we can't read it. I kind of want to read <laughs> what's in this book. Options? No options. All right, let's talk to Conrad. What can about I do those for gold you? teeth? Oh, 
Oh, what is this? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. That's great. Let's talk about Eugene. You know about Eugene? How? I found a note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. They were probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. This place is terrible. Okay, uh, let's go to the workbench. See if we can... Wish we had some better rations. Let's see if we can use some of this stuff. Oh. To install your mod, first select the item you want to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you want to install. Finally pick the mod to install, and boom! Mods can't be removed. Jock? Joke? Weapons? Are built for a discerning warrior. Alright, thank you. We do have this assault rifle, which I think I want to install. What's my, what's my mod? Oh, the extendosite and the gyrosite. Oh, range weapon spread minus 20. Weapon range or spread. Ah, uh, hmm. The effective range goes up. I, I think the extended side is better. They're both worth the same financially. Cool. What else can I modify? This? It's already got an extendo sight. Oh, the shotgun should reduce the spread. I bet that's... Oh, we can't. Hmm. I really want to give... Parvati a better weapon. But I can't. Alright, let's break some stuff down. Break it down. What about this stun baton? Maybe we hold on to that. Maybe that's what I... 
You know what? Maybe that's what I'll use. And I don't think the revolvers are any good. And then these. And then looking at the... Oh yeah, let's repair that. Yep, thank you. Yes. And yes. And let's tinker with a few things. We can mess around with this. Sp spend 27 bits to increase the damage. I mean, that seems like an obvious thing to do. Another... We have a thousand bits. Let's increase Parvati's damage. Yep. With that. Um, 66 to 72 with the sniper. I think that's worth it. I'm going to switch that trip laid out. I really... Yeah, this, this seems smart, <laughs> I think. And these are mods. Again, we just did that. I think that's good. Now let's go to Silas. He's going to be where? Or the Vicar. We need to go to the Vicar. Actually, we need to go to the store. Today at the cannery. Let me... Is this the vending machine? It's not the best choice. It's space. Let's Music trade. To my ears. I need to buy some heavy ammo. How much does it cost? That's ammo right there. Oh, is it... Is it like for one bullet? Let's spend a hundred. That's for 18. Six a piece, huh? That's a lot. All right, Vicar, here we come. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Here's your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. Oh. Let's say this one. That book seems a bit more important than you let on. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Why did you think the book held the secrets you were looking for? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Interesting. 
At least you still have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Oh. Um. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. So we're assembling a ship with a priest and a cute mechanic lady. Th this is Firefly. This is totally Firefly. Uh, sounds good. Let's go. Um, hmm. that is, is that all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. All right. Sounds good. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Parvati, you are definitely coming with me. I do think... Hold on a second. If we look in here... Over at Parvati... I can give her better armor, right? This is a seven with the tech skills. And this is a nine. Oh, she <laughs> looks amazing. It's worth it. She looks a little ridiculous, but she needs that armor. All right. Well, I think that's going to have to do it for today. We're going to go do a few other things next time. We will have to return to Silas and we're going to have to deal deal with Adelaide's group. We've been kind of avoiding that doing side stuff so far, but that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We have matching outfits. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Take care.